I think he could have dodged that pretty easily. He was going for the lance though. But that's the thing about PLs. If you get caught, in, like if you get caught like that, you get low. Like your illusions start being low, so they start being like he's such a snowball hero in that regard. Like when you're low, your illusions are low, and when your illusions are low, they don't do anything. Like they just die really fast. But if you're full health and you have a bunch of illusions that are full health, they'll never kill you because they'll never find which ones you. And if they have, they've already died because they've just been whacked on you, whacked on by whacked on whacked you, whatever. You've been whacking them for a while, whacking off Kappa. So I'll go ahead and start fast forwarding again. Because um, if you ask a lot of 6K players, they'll tell you the difference between a 5K player and a 6K player is decision making. And the kind of decisions that people don't understand are these kind of decisions. Him staying slightly too long, getting impaled, and dying. Like, if he didn't get, if he had, like, barely dodged that impale, he would have lived. Like, 100% health. Like, it's not even like he barely would have gotten away. He would have 100% health gotten away. But that impale was what killed him. Um, like, 100, like, if that didn't happen, day and night difference. Back to tra boots of traveling top, using his manta to push the wave, just like I said, farming jungle, so that he's he actual heroes off the map. Manages to blink down the cliff and leave illusions and not kill the creep. Nice. The power of PL. Farming ancients. The big dragon's kind of annoying because of the splash damage, but so yeah, he targets that down, realizing the same thing I just said. Radiant structures are fortified. I guess he just goes butterfly for just the raw damage, but like, I guess with a mech, it's like PL with a mech's pretty good. It's funny because we had a Shadow Fiend on our team, and I think we had an Earthshaker, but they had a Spectre. That Spectre was such a difference, man. Spectre Batrider, Jesus, plus Spearbreaker too. I'm pretty sure they had Spearbreaker at least. I'm tired. Surprised he hasn't upgraded his defusal yet. Like, I'm actually surprised as fuck at this point. He still has four charges on it. Like, he's not going to be using it all that much. Look at what he's doing now. He's primarily just hitting creeps and pushing out lanes. Like, what are the odds he's going to use eight defusal charges before this game ends? It's, it's 15 agi and four int for 700 gold. Hope he sees this video. <laughs> it's the last time he didn't build Aquila. After I did the last video. I wonder if he actually watched it. This team's engaging bottom. Free kill on the lion. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a big team fight there, so I slowed it to normal speed. Holy crap! What? How did he? How did he? I'm actually curious. Mechanics. Oh, did it not look like he moved super fast there? Huh. thought he had his passive triggered, like, all the way from over here. That was weird. Guess I'm seeing shit. So he just went straight butterfly. I'm sure that was just for the raw right-click deeps. So did he actually just have a quilling blade up until this point? Yeah, he did. I'll have to reevaluate that then. Because one of those, I kind of thought Quelling Blade was worth, worth it, but you ran out of slots. But if you go the Boots of Travel plus um, not going Bottle, that's pretty big. Maybe it's the extra stats that allow you to not go Bottle. But if I get fucked with, I still I still feel like Bottle's worth it. Just to stay on the map. Especially in pubs. Like, this is obviously pro Dota where he's not getting there. His team's properly supporting him. In pubs, I think it's much more viable to go Bottle. Or, like, much more necessary to go bottle. And I still think it's okay in pro games um, if you're getting messed with. But at this point, he's so powerful with that butterfly. I mean, PL does so much damage. And yeah, from this point, it's pretty much a stop. It ends at 34 minutes. I'm sure the enemy team just GG's. Wow, that's so much damage. I may consider just going Butterfly. Because sometimes I'll go Butterfly after Scotty, so maybe if you go Butterfly, it accelerates your farm to Scotty. I still think Scotty's like the late game item. So good on this hero. Yeah, he's so tanky, but even then, like, troll ulti does work. PPD with the casual feed into buyback. So they gave the other team Roche. Right, is he going to buy back for this is the question. Yes, he does. TP's to a hawk. Wow. 
Oh, yeah, GG from there. GG. <laughs> Fissure. <laughs> okay, very interesting. I learned. I actually learned a lot from that game. So he values having Quelling Blade until like the 29 minute mark. That's how much he values the farm speed. And he goes straight to Fusal Travels. I thought that might be the way... I don't think Mom Peel's any good. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think he needs it. Do I prefer ass or Dota? I don't or like I can't tell what that censored word is. He went bots first because of the hawk. That is an interesting point. That's a very interesting point. It may not seem like much, guys. Sorry if that wasn't as much help to you. Like that that was actually a lot of help for me. Um learning those little item choices is pretty big. Um, he, he looks like he maxed W, um, after he got 11. Like, he went stats all the way up to 11. He had one, he had four one 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 or four one one two at 11. Why am I getting called on my phone? Sorry guys, one second. Boxer Gaming. Funny. Oh, it's probably her phone. Raffle. Um, you felt like I was firing shots and complimenting at the same time. Um, it's one of those where like I, I um, I feel like he should have bought the defusal too. But, uh, I was just watching myself on stream, see how much of the ass I get on my stream. I have no idea who's calling on her this late. No idea. Um, who is Sleeper OP in the current meta? I really don't know. It is funny how much EG's picking PL. I think he's really good. How to play PL versus Finn? Use your loses to mana burn him and spam lances and kite him around. Don't actually go on the real Sven unless you have an actual disable. Then you just like trash him because he can't use any of his abilities because you've mana burned him. Did I take five minutes to do it in my last troll game? Time out. I'm not disagreeing with you, but this is worth... You you you're you're not a troll kind of guy, Drake Oz. I've seen you in my stream. You're not a troll kind of guy. So I am going to actually see. Why would not getting why would a uh, getting butterfly not make you get a second defusal blade? Don't you think PL and AM are the same with blink and PL Doppel and Mana Burn with Diffusal? PL is not at all like anti mage. PL's blink purges stuff. Summons illusions with his abilities. Time to challenge you, man. Time to challenge the shit out of that assumption. Late game Hex on PL, I think it's pretty decent. I think Abyssal's a little bit better, though. Cause it's just because it goes through BKB. Um, never go hard on PL. If you're going to get an item, get Satanic, not hard. Let's see when you... Uh... Satanic's just better on the hero. Almost as much HP. Okay, so my Aquila is off. Uh, player perspective. It's gonna fast forward super speed. So I'm not pushing the tower right now, so I don't want it on. 
I turned it on now. It's on for the tower. I pushed the tower, it's on. Has to be some other time in this game. Still on. Fastest game of troll you ever see. Still on. Still on. Still on. Still on. Holy shit, the fast forward is real. Okay, so you must be talking about this first eight minutes of the game. I'm not shoving his tower right here. I guess I could have turned it on, but it's not like... I wasn't... If I'm not worried about shoving his tower, then I'm not going to turn it on. If I if I turned it on right there, it'd push it'd, my creeps would be tankier, so that they'd be higher health when they got to them, so that it'd be less likely that I could ever deny. I don't know why I was supposed to have it on here. Sometimes I'll say it's good to turn it on, but here I don't like. There is no reason to turn it on there. Huh? Still don't have it on. Not pushing tower yet. I am pushing the wave, but I'm still just jungling. Like I'm not shoving the tower. Not until the minute that I like. Look at this though. So I haven't had it on, yes. Like, I've been purposely not having it on. Like, right here, I'm not just saying it because I'm defending myself. Like, I'm not actually... I would not turn it on right now. And then the minute I push the tower, we kill this guy and I push the tower. Should go on, like, right this way. Boom, it's on. Shoving tower now. I mean, end of the game right there. Little things like that do matter. Easy game of Dota, boys. I may have done it once, but... Um, but I was, uh... I'm, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves is to always have Ring of Aquila's on and Ring of Bassy's on. $700 and he almost used all of his charges before his game ended? Yeah, he had four charges left, but at that point he almost used all four of them. But he would have had five more or four more with the Defusal 2. Like, I'm talking about at that point in the game, I feel like he should have bought one. He, he If he didn't go use all of his charges, then why didn't he... Like, if he just used all of his charges, it's still right to buy a Defusal 2. Like, not right away, but like... Somewhere maybe right after the Manta, I'd say? Right after the Manta, buy a Defusal 2? Um, what's good against PL? Tiny's probably pretty good. I don't even think Sven's very good. Ember's pretty decent. Um, honestly, it's not as much about the carry, really. It's really not as much about the carry. It's mostly about the other heroes. Batrider's really good. Um, Spearbreaker's actually pretty good. Tidehunter's decent. Axe is pretty good. Um, it's mostly about the other heroes. The carry, like, there's no one carry in particular... That hard counters PL or is like particularly good. Even Spectre is actually pretty decent. We've got Wrecked Fire, and just because Spectre knows which one's the real PL, the question is always going on the real PL. And if a really good PL player will never just sit there allowing you to go on him. Um, Ricky is good in pubs, but I don't think he'd be good in an actual game. Um, Hani was just standing in, but I did really like fucking Matt on our team. Um, it's kind of sad that he left, but he just offered a lot that, he offered something that no one else on our team had, just like, 
he leads shot calling in the first 15 minutes of the game, like very, like very adamantly, like we're doing this, you're doing this. And as a player with my skill set and not as much experience, that was pretty big for me. Banana stream has fucked my sleep schedule. A good puck dumps on PL, maybe. Yeah, PL Spectres is good against PL because you can identify the real one. In the mid game, if the what happened to me is the PL the Spectre was ahead and the Radiance Burn just screwed me. Um. I'm sorry, guys. It's about 4 a.m. I am going to be going to bed. Um, I'll analyze more. I'll try to do it more. Um, I, I, I said I would be doing it more, and I, and I haven't been. Um, so I really appreciate everyone that tuned in. It's been a really fun stream. Um, I actually went up MMR today. Um, um, but yeah, I appreciate everyone that's tuned in, and I'm going to go to bed now. It's been a long stream. Um, so I will be on tomorrow. Um, I have coaching from noon to 6 p.m. Um, or noon to f 6, yeah, 6 p.m. Pacific. And if the players want it to be streamed, it will be streamed. So if you see me on midday tomorrow, I will be tweeting it and Facebooking it. Um, if you want to follow me, follow me on here or Twitter. Um, also my YouTube channel. Uh, I will be letting you know as soon as I know from these players that they want it to be streamed. So my coaching sessions will be going on tomorrow. And I will definitely be streaming after that, if worst case, less like least case scenario of streaming. So I will talk to you guys later. Good night, guys. Thanks for the stream.